Hey, and welcome to this tutorial on how to make a hole in a polygon face with the make hole tool in Maya. In this video, we're going to be covering how to make a hole based on the shape of a secondary face. Here we have a very simple example, a cube and also a plane positioned how we want to add the hole. If you want to follow along by picking up the tutorial files, please be sure to check out the VFX view membership over on my Gumroad. To use this tool, select both these objects and let's combine them. Shift right mouse button, combine. You need to do this if the face shape you're going to use for the hole isn't the same mesh. Now we've done that, head up to mesh tools, make hole, and let's select the menu button. As the tool self describes, we can use it to punch holes into selected faces. By default, the merge mode is set to none. So if we go ahead and select this face, and then the face we want the hole in, Nothing happens, but if we go ahead and hit enter, we can see we get a weird polygon, but we do actually get the hole. So let's go ahead and undo that. First is gonna bring the selected second face to the position of the selected first face. So you can see how it brings the face of our cube and aligns it to our plane, putting the hole in there. Middle, as you might have guessed, makes both faces meet in the middle and kind of averages out the position. See how both the plane and the face on the cube move to the middle, and we get a hole there. Second, oppositely to first, is going to bring the face selected first to the face selected second. So you can see how now in reverse, we now get the plane which moves to the face of the cube. The difference between the normal merge modes and the project modes is first, middle, and second is going to merge the hole directly in the center of the face. Whereas using the project equivalent isn't going to merge the hole in the center, but aligned as projected onto those faces. So let me just show you an example. So first centers the hole. Project first, projects the position. So you can see how it's not centered in the middle of the face of the cube. So it's good to know the difference for that for sure. I do think the make hole tool could be useful in some situations. Let me know if you have any interesting use cases for it. I can't say I've used this tool a lot myself. Again, the Maya files are available through the VFX Fuel membership over on Gumroad if you would like to follow along. Joining the membership not only gives you access to some cool perks, but it also helps the channel out too. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, hit that like and subscribe button. Come chat with me on the Discord and I'll see you in the next video.